can't believe I'm awake this early. That's so good, isn't it? It's supposed to be on holiday. <laughs> AW, baby. What's AW? After wedding. Oh, right. That's we'll sleep until like 10 a.m. You know what? I reckon we're going to have a full 12 hour sleep the day after the wedding. <laughs> I think so too. I'm not sleeping at all. Right now? No. I woke up this morning thinking about like random stuff I've got to remember. Yeah, that's the thing when you have like a lot to do and remember that your mind won't let you sleep. Like I haven't written a thank you speech to everyone that's coming yet. You haven't? No, I haven't done that either. Oh baby, you need to take some time out and get all this written and done. I know. We also really need to practice dance. Oh, uh, we need to practice our dancing, um, our vows, well not vows, I haven't even written my vows and I think Pia just cried through writing hers yesterday. So probably need to make that a bit more... Um, succinct get that <laughs> happening and then during the dinner i say a thank you to everyone that's that's came to the wedding and i haven't written that either um i think we kind of it's like we were really really busy in sydney mm. um still organizing everything and we had like a lot of work so we're still working like crazy in my head it was like right we're here a week early in byron mm. i'm gonna take moments like a few hours every day in byron to just reflect and write the vows and like you know, practice the dancing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but then we got so. sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit of stress. Also, I cut my finger really badly. I don't know if you can see that. The band-aid looks disgusting because for some reason it frayed. I caught my finger in the door latch. Not even a boosted board injury. I know. And it's not his ring finger, thank God. It's like yeah. the only thing I was like, which hand? But like the whole top of my, the whole top layer of my finger just popped off. So now I can't grab anything with my right hand, which is not good. How will I pinch your bum when we do the kiss? Oh, I know. <laughs> Another idyllic day. I know, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. The boys are fast asleep still in the little beach house. <laughs> I think they had a late one. Did they? Yeah. It's very hard not to get too excited and like jump the gun with like peak, partying. Yeah, like and peak, peak yeah, peak too early. early. Because so many of our friends are arriving, we're like, yeah! Yeah, yesterday a load of people arrived from Sydney and also um, a couple of people from Canada. And they're like, let's go out, let's go out! And I really wanted to go out, but also I've got to pace myself because <laughs> I don't want to hang over on the wedding day. We've also got our welcome drinks tomorrow, which is going to be, well, I don't think it'll be massive, but it's going to be like, there's 50 people all drinking, so that's going to be a bit, 40 people, 40 yeah. people all drinking, so that's going to be a bit crazy. Um, and we've got loads of stuff to plan, we've got to practice all our vows and dances and whatnot. So at this stage we're doing our absolute best to try and stay calm and... Not drink anything. Well, not even not drink anything, just not push ourselves stupidly. Yeah. That's the main still thing. Still get early nights, still yeah. get up and go to the gym, which is very hard when everybody else is like in holiday mode. Yeah, and they're all drinking beer, like at 4pm they'll all start cracking open the beers and we're not. <laughs> And that's well, our clothes are so tight yeah. fitted to us on the wedding day. If we, if we just start drinking like five beers a day right now, we're going to be like, uh-oh, oh, your yeah. suit doesn't close. My suit is literally has millimetres to spare. <laughs> like, if I have a burger the day before, I'm not doing those pants up. <laughs> Wait, so we've just come to this gym called Body Works. Um, Last time we were in Byron, we actually stayed there in that Airbnb and that's how we discovered this gym. But it's good. They charge $10 a day for a two week membership. So while we're here, this is our gym. Still keeping it up. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like a, like a kitchen tool. Certainly are a tool. <laughs> It does feel good to start the day with a gym, that's for sure. Yeah. We're really pushing ourselves. It's hot too. Yeah, it's much hotter than Sydney, hey? Oh, yeah. Woo! All right, we're going to get some avocados um, and water. Right. Let's get some water and avocados. Take you back to the family. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. That was a good gym workout. Yeah. We oh, didn't you. didn't wake you. I thought you oh, might. Hey, I would have thought it was in the shower boat when you came out to get in the car. Oh really? You drove, you drove off as I was walking up here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you guys were all asleep. Jonathan flew in from London via where was it? Dubai, and then what? Yeah. And then from Sydney to Bellingham. <laughs> and then, then to Sydney, yeah. and then to Ballina, which is here. 
So his jet lag right now is like jet lag level 100. It's really hot, hey? It's so hot. My curls won't stay. My face is sweating like crazy. What are you going to do? I on... need to check if the villa we're staying in has aircon. If not, we need to go and get like a few little fans. Because it's impossible to do proper makeup when you're sweating like crazy. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. You know it's currently 31 degrees. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why it was such a hard workout, and it probably wasn't. It was just freaking hot. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen your hair so fluffy. It was so <laughs> Pete's here. Oh my gosh, I get wet. I, I think he's out here. Look at you. Paradise. Oh. When you go to buy and you need the hat, I need the hat. Oh. So, There's Pete, so we do have a slight food. problem. Tell me, isn't no, there always? Neither myself nor Pia have written our vows. Oh, even, I've even nearly done mine. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay, an hour ago, neither me or Pia had written our vows. Look, I'm, I'm glad that we covered off when we last met that you are going to have them done by today. But <laughs> that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. <laughs> we're good at to-do So you've list. done your vows now? Well, I've got, I've got a pretty good amount of notes and now I feel like I just need to get it into an actual structure. But I'd love to show it to you. <gasps> this sounds like a montage. <laughs> <laughs> She's crying. Oh, I thought you were crying. Close, I was. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so you guys have gone through the vows now. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if the allergies will be amazing. <laughs> well, welcome to the casting couch. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to sit down with Pete and try and work out what my vows are. All right, well let's let's have a look at the vows. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off then. That was fun, guys. No, thank that you so great. much. Yeah, thank you. Cat and Candice are on their way. Oh, amazing. We need to sit down. Something just arrived in the post, and then we've got to go to your dad's. Oh, okay, sweet. All right, Pia. Pia wants to show you this. This is something pretty special. Check it out. Yes. Over <laughs> to you, Pia. This <laughs> is our new TV show segment. It's, <laughs> it's called Cool Stuff with Pia. Cool Stuff with Pia. I like it. <laughs> this is cool stuff, and it's so cool that I actually had it sent here to Byron Bay because I wanted to show you guys before we get like way too into the wedding swing of things. Yeah, because all our vlogs aren't about the wedding right now anyway. <laughs> Are, they? I'm sorry if we're boring it for some people. But this is awesome because I'm the ambassador for Glam by Body Care and they've done something that they've never done before and it's like this really cute advent calendar of lashes. So it's called Little Book of Lashes and if you open it, it basically is like a sample pack of all of the different styles and the coolest thing is these ones are the ones that I helped co-design. I like the way she's like, the coolest thing is my name's on it. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Look, I'm excited about it. So basically you've got 11 lashes in there plus some extra glue and things like that. So I've already dug into this one, but I do have two extras. So we thought in this vlog, instead of doing a slinky voucher to give away, we would give these two away to two of you guys. So if you want to leave comments down below and let us know why you would want to win them, we'll randomly pick two people to win a pack each. And they're super cute gift ideas. So if you're stuck for a gift, then, you know, I wouldn't even use them myself. I would give it to someone else because it looks super thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see our friends. All of our friends have just arrived, so we're being very rude. Yeah. They're all up there, so we need to go and um, we just wanted to show you this, but now we've got to go see them. We all went to school together. We've known each other since like this big. We went through all our naughty, naughty phases together. <laughs> and now we're adults. <laughs> There's my dad. Hi! <laughs> so we've just driven about 25 meters inland. Meters. 25 kilometers inland. <laughs> uh, this is where my dad and his wife are staying. So we're kind of catching up with them. We're going to have a nice little night of drinks and celebrations. And like, this is the wedding week. This is not just one day. We're like, we're already starting. So we've been here about 25 minutes. We've now got to the point where Peter is making Bloody Marys. So just do it on the Grey Goose Vodka. What could possibly... That could go wrong! That just... Exactly that! I don't know! By the way, this is our first drink, so this is not because we're wildly drunk. Wendy did that because she just really wants to be on the vlog. Wow. Thanks, oh, Wendy. Thanks. This is my, this is my, this is my salad dinner. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Can I 
sing? Yeah, sing it a little. Get get on and like serenade uh, me a little. If Come I sing, on, you'll cry. like the good old days. Oh. Like the good old days. We should tell the vlog the story of when we went to the casino that one time. Yeah. So when we were first dating, we went to the casino not to gamble because we don't actually gamble, but just to go and have a drink or whatnot. And there was this piano in the middle of the casino, and around it was like this balcony area where it kind of went up to the next level. But there was like, you know how they have like a red velvet rope around things? It was like roped things? off. It yeah, was it was roped, roped off. off for a professional pianist, <laughs> obviously. Um, we had had a little bit to drink and Kane was like, oh, I'm just going to jump this red velvet rope and get on there and start playing piano. I didn't know that I wasn't allowed to play piano, but <laughs> apparently you're not meant to just jump on any piano that you see. And then he jumped on and it was the first time I ever heard him play piano and he is amazing. Like honestly, so incredibly talented and played the most incredible song and started singing and serenading me. And I was so drunk by this stage that I just immediately started crying. I thought so I'd done something wrong. I was like, uh, should I just stop? Because she's now crying in the middle of an auditorium. <laughs> And then there was this massive audience above on level two, basically looking down and watching him play and sing. And the next thing that happened was the security came and like, was like, come on Mozart, yeah. let's go. I didn't, yeah, I must admit, there's nothing scarier than casino security escorting you out. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked, I got a girlfriend, so for all the haters out there, what? <laughs> <laughs> Season three of the vlog should be called Making the Band. Yes. And I should become a rock star. We need to get you to play piano again. I taught myself guitar last week. Yeah, he literally taught himself guitar in one day. No, it was like a day and a half card. Don't, a day don't, and a half. don't make me out to be better than I am. 